problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at all Phase 4 MCU releases listed. He'd like to meet with you. Where? For this list, we're highlighting every upcoming movie and show that's planned to premiere in Marvel's fourth major chapter. Since release dates can change, one or more projects could be added or shifted out of this phase. If you're not caught up with everything in the MCU, beware of spoilers ahead. What Marvel project are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Eternals. Release date, November 5th, 2021. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, or all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. A group of powerful aliens known as the Eternals tried to live mostly under the radar on Earth for multiple centuries. But Tony Stark's snap opened the door for these powerful beings to be drawn into a big and potentially public conflict. While the Eternals may not be a household name, the actors playing them certainly are. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. The cast includes Richard Madden as Icarus, Gemma Chan as Cersei, Kumail Nanjiani's Kingo, Angelina Jolie's Thena, and so many more stars. And the movie also has Oscar-winning director Chloe Zhao steering the big and cosmic spaceship. The staggering amount of talent involved in Eternals and its out-of-this-world premise have us convinced that we're in for a truly stellar movie. The impact that Eternals will have on the MCU will be nothing less than redefining the cinematic universe entirely. Hawkeye, release date, November 24th, 2021. The past is caught up with me. Should we be worried? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be home for Christmas. After Thanos snapped Hawkeye's family away, the Avenger took on a dark alternate personality and started dealing violent vigilante justice. Although he got his loved ones back, he'll have to confront his dark past in his Disney Plus series. Hawkeye will also have to hope that Natasha's sister Yelena won't assassinate him for what happened to Black Widow. Maybe you'd like a shot at the man responsible for your sister's death. Kind of a cutie. Don't you think? But it won't all be doom and gloom. During the show, Hawkeye will mentor the talented archer Kate Bishop. Early footage showed that the character will be hilarious and extremely confident in her skills. Her presence, the show's Christmas setting, and the dramatic focus on Hawkeye's character arc should make for a winning combination that hits the bullseye for entertaining TV. Holy sh Spider-Man No Way Home. Release date, December 17th, 2021. Everything changed for Peter when the world learned he was Spider-Man. After this reveal causes his loved ones to suffer, he asks Doctor Strange to fix things. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. When the plan goes off the rails, the heroes must clean up the mess while dealing with villains from other universes like Doc Ock. Hello, Peter. Honestly, this setup would be satisfying on its own, but reports that foes like Jamie Foxx's Electro will appear, with heroes like Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire's Peter, sent hype through the roof. No Way Home's trailer broke records after being viewed more than 350 million times in 24 hours. Whether fans are more excited about Peter's story or the rumors, it's clear that they will web up tickets as soon as possible for this Spidey adventure. We tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Ms. Marvel. Release date, early 2022. I could barely function at the beginning. If my powers could have set things on fire, I might have burned a lot more than my house to the ground. When Kamala Khan made her debut in 2014, we learned that she was a Muslim teenager who was a big fan of superheroes like Captain Marvel. After the young fangirl gained shape-shifting abilities, she followed in the footsteps of her role models and started fighting crime. This groundbreaking heroine became so popular that she was chosen to headline a Disney Plus series. True warriors might know how to destroy, but they use their power to protect. Although Ms. Marvel was originally slated to release in 2021, it seems more likely that we'll see her take the spotlight in 2022. 
It'll be interesting and compelling to see this heroine try to balance the expectations society places on her with her new hero responsibilities when her series debuts. Great job today, Ms. Marvel. You handled yourself like a pro. I'm impressed. Could you maybe pinch me or something so I know this isn't a dream? Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Release date, May 6, 2022. Doctor Strange won't be out of the woods after we see him work with Peter. The question of who will give Strange the most trouble in his upcoming sequel is the most exciting question. We know his former ally Carl Mordo has started going down a dark path. Because I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers. At the same time, Wanda Maximoff is set to appear after she spent time reading from the sinister Darkhold book. Her actions in WandaVision showed that she's capable of being the movie's big bad. Your power exceeds that of the Sorcerer Supreme. It's your destiny to destroy the world. Outside of the villain question, there are exciting reports the movie will feature heroine America Chavez. There are also rumors a mutant might appear as well. No matter who or what shows up in Doctor Strange's sequel, he will definitely have his hands full. Earth has no Sorcerer Supreme to defend it. We must be ready. We'll be ready. Moon Knight. Release date, sometime in 2022. And now, foul demon, face the vengeance of the Moon Knight. Two years after Oscar Isaac made a marvelous return to superhero media as Miguel in Into the Spider-Verse, fans got fantastic news that he had been cast as Mark Spector, also known as Moon Knight. The actor will play a character who has dissociative identity disorder and mystical superpowers. Spectre has a dominating physical presence, a deep and engaging backstory, and is very driven to get justice. I am a mere Spectre, the avatar of the moon. The lunar satellite shares its secrets with me, and I do its bidding in confidence. We know that Isaac has the acting chops to portray such a complex character and tons of experience with big action sequences. As an added bonus, he'll be joined in the series by the legendary Ethan Hawke. The smart casting and choice to follow Mark Spector has us over the moon with anticipation for this series. Dad, you're here! You're really here! I was wrong. We are victorious. Thor Love and Thunder. Release date, July 8th, 2022. It's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Ragnarok's excellent combination of drama, epic action, and humor made a strong case for why the franchise should continue. Thankfully, a follow-up to this electrifying third entry is coming in 2022. Thor Love and Thunder will feature the glorious Asgardians of the Galaxy team we saw in Endgame. Uh, Asgardians of the Galaxy back together again. Oh, we're too fast. <laughs> Speaking of returning characters, Jane Foster will appear in a more active role thanks to newly gained superpowers. Thor will definitely need her help facing Christian Bale's ominously named Gore the God Butcher. Since director Taika Waititi did a great job balancing drama and comedy in Ragnarok, we're glad he's helming Love and Thunder. We're confident he's directing an absolutely divine story. Wait, I'm not sure. Any suggestions? She-Hulk, release date sometime in 2022. But you can call me the She-Hulk. Please take your seat, Ms. Hulk. Ah, uh, she Walters. Even superheroes could use legal support now and then. Thankfully, they'll soon have Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, to lean on. This lawyer traditionally gains the abilities to turn into a much stronger and greener heroine after her cousin Bruce Banner donates some of his blood to her. Since Jennifer doesn't typically turn into a full rage monster, she can effortlessly go from punching villains to raising objections in court. Order! Order! Jennifer, what are you doing? Playing the cards we got, cuz. That's right. The talented Tatiana Maslany will portray this fascinating character. We cannot wait to see how she bounces off of Mark Ruffalo's banner, Tim Roth's Abomination, and the antagonist, Titania, played by Jamila Jamil of Good Place fame. She-Hulk's ensemble and focus on a superpowered lawyer will make it a legal-themed show unlike any we've seen before. Yo, cuz, enough of the violins. All charges are dropped. So get your exonerated butt in this plush leather interior and let's go rip some highway. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Release date, November 11th, 2022. Sister Nakia, 
my prince. We are home. Returning to Wakanda in 2022 will be bittersweet. The tragic loss of Chadwick Boseman means that T'Challa will not be physically there for the sequel. Fortunately, his spirit will live on through every upcoming project set in Wakanda. Great characters like Letitia Wright's Cherie, Denai Gurira's Okoye, Winston Duke's Mbaku, and more will appear in the second film. I make the pronouncements here, yeah, girl. Look, uh, Your Highness, the new king is a US, <gasps> uh, the new king. <laughs> Rumors also hint that we may see an appearance from the aquatic royal Namor. After this sequel premieres, we're poised to get another TV show set in the country that will feature Okoye in a major role. The future for Wakanda is bright and hopeful, and every time we visit, we'll honor the king that first showed us the way there. This will be the first Wakanda International Outreach Center. Nakia will oversee the social outreach. You will spearhead the science and information exchange. Secret Invasion, release date sometime in 2022. Audiences were stunned when it was revealed that both Nick Fury and Maria Hill were scrolls during the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. But what if the shape-shifting aliens weren't just impersonating those two heroes? And, uh, you know, shortly after that, it, it really kind of went off the rails, and so we need you to come back, because everyone kept asking me where the Avengers are, and I don't know what to say to that, so you're lucky that's why I'm in the shocking Secret Invasion comic, we learn that Skrulls have been secretly masquerading as humans as part of an evil plot. This seems to suggest that the Disney Plus series of the same name may reveal that other MCU figures are aliens. Sam Jackson's Nick Fury will likely work with Ben Mendelsohn's Talos to stop this invasive plot. The cast will also include Oscar winner Olivia Colman, acclaimed actor Kingsley ben and former Mother of Dragons Amelia Clark. We'll find out who we can trust when the show premieres in 2022. You're good to go here till you recover, but you and your family are gonna need a new look. I could go back to being your boss. Oh, please don't. Come on, I love sporting his beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> the Marvels, release date February 17th, 2023. But what happens when I'm finally set free? Although we don't know where Captain Marvel's next adventure will take place, we do know that she won't be fighting against evil alone. Monica Rambeau will show off the fantastic ability she gained in WandaVision in the feature film. Kamala Khan will also appear in the Marvels after the first season of her solo series. Since the young heroine loves Captain Marvel and Monica has some negative feelings towards Carol, the trio will have an interesting dynamic. Well, I'd argue that Captain Marvel came close. Her powers came from an Infinity Stone too, right? We are not talking about her, we are talking about Wanda. They'll all star in a movie directed by Nia DaCosta, who recently led the well-received Candyman. She will undoubtedly take these heroines to new heights when the Marvel soars onto the screen. Maybe I'll build a spaceship, you don't know. He doesn't. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Release date, December 2022. What should we do next? Something good? Something bad, a bit of both. While the rumored Werewolf by Night project might give Marvel Halloween-themed programming, we know that a Guardians of the Galaxy special will be present by next Christmas. Although this may sound like a goofy side project, it's set after the fourth Thor film in the MCU timeline. All the Guardians are set to return for this Disney Plus event. Will this special have the original team teach Nebula about the meaning of Christmas? Sounds fair. Well, I it's not necessary. It's not. Then again, the holiday might not be common throughout the galaxy. So, the special could introduce a ridiculous event that space travelers celebrate once a year. We're confident that whatever celebration this Guardian story is about will be better than whatever Life Day is in the Star Wars franchise. Listen, I wouldn't worry about Chewbacca. I know him and he hasn't missed a Life Day yet, right? Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Release date, July 28th, 2023. Mic check, one, two, one, two. How's everybody doing tonight in the quantum realm? Scott, we read you. I just want to make sure. The events of the third Ant-Man movie will probably have huge consequences for the future of the MCU. According to early reports, Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne will encounter the villainous Kang the Conqueror. When Jonathan Majors played a variant of this antagonist in the Loki series, we learned that alternate versions of Kang sparked a multiversal war. Erupted. 
into all-out war, each variant fighting to preserve their universe and annihilate the other. Ant-Man and the Wasp could be instrumental in preventing another multidimensional conflict. Fortunately, their predecessors Hank and Janet will be around for the third film. Scott's daughter Cassie may also be able to help if she follows her comic counterpart and becomes the heroine's stature. Hopefully, these size-changing heroes will be enough to stop Kang's next scheme. Misdirection. One of the first things they teach you at Online Close-Up Magic University. Ironheart. Release date to be announced. If I'm going to be a hero, the suit has to be perfect. That's why I came to Empire Tech. To learn from the best. Not to go to clubs or talk about my feelings. During Tony Stark's second solo film, we saw some of the world's brightest minds struggle to make one Iron Man suit. They'd probably be extremely jealous if they knew that a version of Riri Williams built a successful set of armor when she was only 15. Her intellect and technical genius impressed Tony Stark enough to earn his support. Since he's already gone in the MCU, her live-action series may see her meeting up with War Machine or a genius like Cherie. The latter option is especially likely because Riri will appear in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. In the end, it doesn't matter whether she wins anyone's approval. We're just excited to see actress Dominique Thorne take flight as Riri in her very own suit. You know, if you're gonna be a superhero, you need a superhero name. Girl of Iron? Iron Lass? Oh, I know, I know. Call me Ironheart. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Release date currently expected in 2023. So we're saving the galaxy again? I guess. Awesome. Our favorite team of galactic misfits will probably finish their trilogy in 2023. This third film will probably give us more of Gamora's story. After the 2018 version of the character was tragically sacrificed by Thanos, a 2014 Gamora arrived in the present and avoided rejoining the Guardians. While the team's trying to find her, they'll likely cross paths with Will Poulter's Adam Warlock. I think I should call him. Adam. But the most nerve-wracking aspect of Guardians 3 is that the cast and director James Gunn keep hinting it's gonna be emotional. Gunn, who is known for killing off beloved characters, hinted that Rocket's arc is coming to a close. Will our favorite gun-toting Guardian make it through the threequel? Don't push this button, because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Armor Wars. Release date to be announced. Everybody in this room is about that superhero life. And if you don't mind my asking, where the hell have you been all this time? Rhodey's courage, leadership ability, and loyalty made him one of the few people Tony trusted to wear a suit of powered armor. The Colonel even continued to wear his powered suit after a major injury. I wasn't always like this. Me either. But we work with what we got, right? Now that Tony is gone, Rhodey will take it upon himself to protect the legacy of Tony's tech. The Armor Wars TV series will see someone using Stark's technology for their own twisted deeds. While the cast list is still under wraps, it'd make a lot of sense for Iron Man franchise mainstays like Pepper Potts to appear to help Rhodey. It would also be awesome for Ironheart to lend a hand. Overall, Rhodey's got the arsenal, experience, and potential allies to win the Armor Wars. Listen, my car got taken out in the explosion, so I'm gonna have to hang on to your suit for a minute. I am Groot. Release date to be announced. I am Groot. They were not looking at you, buddy. Despite being an alien tree that only says a few words that we can understand, Baby Groot is still a beloved character. The little plant has been deemed popular enough to star in multiple animated short films. Although we don't know if these flicks will be the most monumental Marvel stories, they will likely be some of the most adorable tales in the franchise. I'm Groot. That's right. I'm Groot. No! Since early project descriptions hint that Groot will encounter other characters, we're excited for the possible crossovers. Will he work with an animated Howard the Duck? Or could Groot cross paths with the lovable Guardians of the Galaxy franchise character Cosmo the Space Dog? Wherever this adorable tree sprouts up, we will be sure to follow. I am Groot. What's that? He says, welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Fantastic Four, 
release date to be announced. That's what they're calling it. The Fantastic Four. Cool. Will Marvel's first family lead the final Phase 4 Marvel project? Rumors and mysterious release dates certainly suggest the iconic team will close out this exciting chapter. As far as crew, I was hoping Ben could pilot the mission. We already have a pilot on our payroll, but you're welcome to ride shotgun. Remember my brother Johnny? The team usually acquires powers after a cosmic trip goes wrong. Since a bunch of MCU heroes journeyed above Earth already, it'd be easy to find a reason for the team to go to space. Their adventure will be directed by Holland Spider-Man director John Watts. But who will play the titular family members? While fans would love actors like John Krasinski and Emily Blunt as Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm, there are no hints that that will happen. Yet. But by the time this phase draws to a close, we'll know a lot more about the new Fantastic Four. A new day is done. The day of the Fantastic Four. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.